her family feels that you molested their daughter. Well, I mean, you can't molest somebody when she came to me first. I, I never came to Shanda like that. Shanda locked me in her bathroom and made the first move on me, not the other way around. Did you have a sexual relationship with her? Yes. Did you think that because she was only 12 that it wasn't a good idea? I mean, she was seeing boys older than me. So obviously, I mean, she knows what she was getting into. I didn't do nothing to her that she didn't want me to do. What they may call intimate, we was intimate like that. Not like a male and female is intimate. Did you know that Melinda had made a death threat against her? Mm -hmm. She told you she was gonna kill her, right? Yes, and I went to uh, the youth prosecutor and told them about it. Uh, what'd you tell? I gave them the letters that uh, Melinda had wrote me, and uh, I guess they said they was gonna have a, a meeting with the parents, but I never heard anything about it after that. And she confessed to you after the fact, correct? Yes. Did she show you the bloody trunk? Yes. and Shanda's bloody clothes? Yes. And you didn't tell anybody? No, because I just didn't believe it. Because one minute they were laughing, and the next minute they were crying, so it was hard to tell which one, which was fake and which was true. So you knew she was dead. You believe, when you heard those details, did you believe it? I mean, a part of me did, but a part of me didn't. Did you ever think that you should warn Shanda's parents that she had made a death threat against um, her? My dad warned them about the letters. The youth prosecutor warned them about the letters and everything that was going on. They feel like this started with her relationship with you and that you could have said something when they told you, they confessed to you that they killed her. Yeah, I did uh, confess to um, people that they were gonna kill her. Mm -hmm. So maybe the authorities could have done more stuff. And maybe her dad could have done something, you know, when those three girls knocked on the door and Shane answered the door and he was like, who is that? And that's what I was told. He didn't even know who the, well, she didn't even not, know who those girls were. You're not blaming wires. the father. I'm not blaming father. I'm not blaming anybody but the girls that did it. Well, but it sounds like you're kind of putting something on the father. That, well, I mean, they're putting it all on me. We've got a dead, a dead child here, I understand right? That. I mean, come on. Let, let's not. We don't want to throw rocks at a, at a dead child. Right. I mean, they're throwing rocks at me though. I understand. You know, I've lost a lot during this. I lost basketball scholarships because of it. You know, I got kicked off the basketball team because of it. You know, there's a lot of things that I lost because of it that I had to sacrifice. They just don't know the story. I didn't come on to Shanda like that. She came on to me. And you're completely at peace with your role in this thing. You don't feel guilty about any aspect of this I mean, whatsoever. You have no no regrets. I mean, I do, in, in part, feel guilty as far as not telling somebody when I found out about it. Nobody was calling my house looking for Shanda. So in reality, I didn't know that it was true because nobody was calling me looking for her. You think that would've been the first place they would call was my house. Well, her mother did call your house, didn't well, she? Well, I never, I never got that message that she called me. My dad may have known and maybe didn't tell me. But did you tell your father that, that these girls had confessed to killing Shanda? I did like two, two, three hours later after I was told. But you said you didn't want to get anybody in trouble, right? That's why you waited to tell? That's not that I want to get anybody in trouble. It's just I didn't know if that had really happened. I didn't want to call and be like, hey, I heard this and it not been true. You said Shanda's mother's made your life miserable? Well, mine and a lot of my family's, yes. You understand they've suffered a tremendous loss. Yeah, that's all about. You seem pretty smug about this, and I would have thought that you would have had a lot more compassion. I, you got, uh, I have had compassion, but just the thought that somebody would call me a child monster upsets me. Understand. Is there anything you want to say to them? I am sorry that this has happened. You know, ultimately, Shane's father paid the price too by drinking himself to death, and, and I really am sorry. I mean, it hurts my feelings that they think I'm a child molester because I'm not. Is there anything you haven't said that you would like to say? I never got to say goodbye to her, you know? You know, I didn't go to go to her funeral. I was threatened not to go to her funeral. And I didn't get to say goodbye to her. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.